thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Welcome in. My name is Deborah, and this is Proush Intuitive. We're going to look at your energy for today. So let's get into it. I hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good day. Happy Monday or whenever you are watching this. These messages are always timeless. Use your discernment accordingly. Um, and I do personal readings, personal readings, energy healings, wellness consultations, if you're looking for something that's a little more specific to your situation. So what I'm hearing first and foremost, as I've been preparing for this reading, is something is coming up that you just don't like. It's rubbing you the wrong way. You know, it's just kind of making you feel a little ugh. <laughs> is what I hear. Something that I feel like you thought you were over and done with. I feel like you thought you had conquered it and it's not specifically the case or it's rearing its beautiful face <laughs> again today for some reason. We'll see why as we look into, um, you know, the specifics of the reading. I'm going to start off with an energy cleansing, set the tone, set the vibe for the reading. It's a really good time to set your own intention as well. If you would like specific messages from spirit or certain questions that you would like answered, definitely give those over now. We'll start with a little blessing and then we will get into the nitty gritty of the reading. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I bless you with pure love, pure light, pure source energy, and pure loving grace. I release anything that is blocking the highest and best for coming through for you. Any fear, doubt, insecurities, lack of worth, lack of value, pain, frustration, anger, annoyance, impatience. Cleanse it, release it from our being. Help us to see the bigger picture. Help to make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love, Mama Love. <laughs> okay. So yeah, something is just kind of getting under your skin today. Not good, bad, right or wrong. It's just annoyance. Um, things aren't as tense as maybe what they've been in the past. And thankfully, we're getting a little bit of um, calm, peace, relaxation from some of the tension. There's not as many transits today. So it feels a little bit nicer, but it still doesn't mean that these annoying things aren't popping up, you know? Places that you're like putting your best foot forward, like I said, you feel like you're done and over with it, you learn the lesson, you're like pushing through, feeling good, and then it pops up again, and you're kind of like, you know, what the F, what's going on? There is a gift <laughs> interwoven within this, a gift coming through. Um, you know, I think sometimes we have that reaction. This is pretty normal, right? To think it's worst case scenario, to feel like it's actually something that's hindering us or making it more annoying. When in reality, sometimes other things just have to unfold, right? Sometimes other things have to unfold in order for all the pieces to come together. And that's where this gift is coming through. I do feel like someone is giving you something, a piece of information. Oh, nice. We, we've been seeing this clover. This came up in our collective reading yesterday as well for the weekly. It feels like it's a pretty abundant week in terms of, yes, there is this underlying theme of doing the work. Yes, there are going to be things that pop up that you don't like, that you don't expect, that feel kind of annoying. But remembering that there is a silver lining. There's a gift. There's a message coming in that's getting you to the next level, so to speak. It's giving you more insight, more clarity that you need to better understand, 
to better grasp, yeah, why you're closing a situation out. I don't feel like this situation has completely ended. I feel like that's attached heavily to the annoyance that you're feeling, that you're facing. Um, someone feels like they are, mm, I don't know, like they're giving you... <laughs> They feel like they're giving you a gift. They feel like they're giving you an opportunity or they're being nice to you is what I'm hearing. Like as if you don't deserve, that's the kind of vibe I'm picking up on. Take it as it resonates. Um, but this does feel like someone who is a little bit arrogant or um, yeah, just functioning out of a lot of sadness, a lot of pain, projecting that onto you. So they feel like they tried to make some type of peace with you in the past or um, maybe throwing you a bone, throwing you a breadcrumb is what I'm hearing. This is a cycle that is repeating over and over and over again. And I feel like this is definitely what I was picking up on in the very beginning of the reading. It's getting annoying at this point. Like, been there, done that. But with the coffin in the blocked energy, it's talking about for some reason, this cycle is having a really hard time closing out. I do think what I'm seeing is some of it is just the pieces unfolding, right? The pieces coming together in the right way. Six of Swords. I love that energy starting off because it is pushing you in the right direction. Again, even if not everything makes sense today, even if you are seeing a lot of repeated mistakes, whether that's coming from you or someone, something around you, recognize it for what it is, but know that there is a blessing underneath it all, right? It's not all a crapshoot <laughs> is what I'm hearing. It's hard not to feel that way though. Uh, the moon is square to Mercury, and so we're having a lot of a disconnect around expressing how we think, how we feel, people being able to understand those things, and it kind of like hurts our ego and pride just that much more. <laughs> yeah, King of Cups, 100%. So that part of you that feels a little bit emotional, there's also someone else that's very emotional as well that's involved. Um, this is someone who I feel like they're contemplating leaving, going somewhere, going on a trip, moving away is what I'm hearing for some of you. Maybe you're planning on moving. Maybe you're planning a trip. Uh, maybe the specifics aren't really working out and it's making it more frustrating than what it needs to be. But something is kind of like happening in the background is what I'm seeing. And it is unbeknownst to you. You're caught in a lot of what's happening right in front of you right now. And I do feel like this King of Cups is talking about someone who is making a lot of mess, messy, emotional stuff over and over and over again. Someone who can't like really get a grip on their emotions, how they're feeling about things. Struggling to under, yeah, the moon is struggling with the changes that are happening. So you're making changes and they don't like it. They don't like it and they don't agree with it, but I don't necessarily see a lot of interaction between you two. It's If anything, it's either silent, like you're not talking at all, or you've cut things off with this person. This does have uh, past energy surrounding it. We're seeing a lot of planets tensely aspected to Mars right now as well. So forward movement is very difficult. As much as we get this Six of Swords, which I like, this gives us small amounts of movement in the right direction. It's not like we're taking these giant leaps or like I was saying before, it's not like you're seeing things close out that you thought were done and over with. 
um, because someone still wants something with you. And I feel like, again, this is why they're being really emotional about things. But you have a different idea in mind, you know? I think the emotions have been very overwhelming for you, and I feel like you're moving forward. Again, confirmation on that. It might be slowly but surely, but you're still pushing ahead. Because it's important for you to not get sucked back into someone else's drama. Someone else's drama who's not even really around all the time or who doesn't support you in the same way is what I'm hearing. Yeah, there's something about them. Let's look at this a little bit more. They're planning something. A getaway is what I hear. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it almost just feels like someone's getting cut off. Yeah, someone's getting cut off, like they don't want to deal with this anymore. It does feel very much like temper tantrum type vibes. So someone's not getting what they want from you, and it's making them really mad. And instead of just like, again, using their words or having a conversation with you, it ends up just causing a lot of unnecessary drama and chaos. And if anything, it's just making you want to be done with it that much more, you know? I feel like they can sense this, and in some ways, they're intentionally causing this drama, you know, because it's it's almost like self-sabotage, right? Well, if I create enough drama and cast, then I don't have to deal with it anyway. And that's exactly how it's playing out because their feelings are hurt because they're not being heard. They're not being understood. Um, and, you know... This is something that you've kind of been waiting for for a long time, though. Okay, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy. Yeah, yeah, you're waiting for things to change. You've been preparing for this is what I'm seeing. You've been preparing for this. You've been working really hard. I feel like you're calling someone out on their bluff. You're calling someone's bluff. So in a way that maybe they have said this, that, and the other, I'm going to give you this, I promise you this, it just hasn't come to fruition. Nothing ever pans out. And I feel like you're constantly in this cycle with this person or with this situation. You've made your peace to cut it off, but they have not. And so you're still in a little bit of a dance back and forth with one another. Okay. Yeah, well, there's that three of swords. So, spirit. Okay, wake up call. Okay. It's like... <sighs> Not taking on someone else's stuff is what I'm hearing. Like, there is a lot of difficulty in this situation. There is a lot of sadness. There is a lot of kind of like blurry lines. And it's not easy for anyone. But I think at the same time, it, it's also showing or it's a big wake up call to where you're finding your happiness and your fulfillment. You maybe relied on this person once upon a time for that, um, you know, connection. And it just never really happened. It never really came through. It always fell flat. And a lot of this is showing that this person, this situation is really stubborn, really emotional, maybe just always has a lot of things going on. So it makes it really hard to um, even pin them down. You know, there's not a lot of reciprocity is what I'm hearing. And even though it doesn't feel good, 
those are the things that I was talking about in the very beginning. We still have to look at. We still have to acknowledge. And spirit does want you to grieve. Understand how this has affected you. How it has affected other aspects of your life. And what might need attention, what might need change, and a little TLC <laughs> as you're adjusting, as you are pushing through to the other side, because you are moving in the right direction. You do have the right perspective. It's just that someone's playing, someone's playing with emotions, with feelings still. And I feel like this is something that they like to do. I feel like this is something that they've been doing for a long time. And you're finally waking up to it. And as much as you are trying to disconnect and detach, the approach is a little bit off. But I feel like this is part of the learning process. This is part of the learning curve. Spirit wants you to look at it from a different perspective, right? Switching up how you do things. It doesn't have to be the same over and over and over again. Everything grows, changes, evolves. And so now it's time to do this a little bit differently because it's in this like really kind of gross cycle at this point. No offense, no shade to anyone, you know. I mean, I'm sure you, obviously you're feeling this too. It's not an easy thing. Mm, yeah, self node energy. <laughs> so that's our karma. That's our karma. It's our default patterning. The places that it's like easier to like not do anything or just do what we normally do versus switch it up. So spirit is asking you to look at things from a different perspective, especially with this individual. It is building regardless. You don't have to force anything. Things are coming to head and it's all going to come out. It's all going to come to light and you're ha you'll have the clarity that you need 100%. But in the meantime, focus on the way you are communicating, the way you're interacting, making sure that you're not poking the bear. Um, you know, and I'm not saying you have to overly criticize yourself, but choosing things that are from a heart of kindness, patience, understanding, even if someone is being really difficult and untethered, you know, you still don't have to treat them poorly, <laughs> even if they're having a hard time controlling themselves. Yeah, it's finding a more innovative way to approach the situation. I love this Aquarian energy because Aquarian energy rules the 11th house, which is like friends, friendship, hopes and wishes. So we can still be friendly to people, even if they don't have the same tools to treat us with love and respect, you know, this is about approaching it a little bit differently because the more you fight tit for tat, the, the more um, aggressive things are going to become, the more volatile, the more tension, the more duking it out. And it really just removes from what the point is. The point is there's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of shifting and change in this dynamic that's hard for everybody. And we just need to be patient, patient <laughs> to the best of our ability. So I hope you found messages here today. Thank you so much for your time and energy always, especially if you made it this far in the video. Definitely drop comments below. I love to hear how it resonates or if you want to connect, share a little love, TLC. That is always my vibe. Thank you so much for all you bring to the channel. I appreciate you always sending love and blessings your way.